All right, guys, we're back here in the Brunswick booth, and I have, well, I've run into one of my favorite people in the entire booth. Phil, how are you doing? Very good, Rob. Good to see you, man. And I bet you say that to all the guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? I, I say this because we talk a fair amount on Facebook, and um, you were you were one of those guys who really likes to take feedback on equipment and, and really hone in what you get out of the equipment so that it meets the bowler's needs. You know, if you don't give the guys, the bowlers, what they want, then you have to make up a story as to why they should buy it. And, and our easiest way, I'm doing this almost 30 years, is ask what they need, try to give it to them, and when you do, tell them about it. And, and that's what we do. We spend a lot of time researching the bowler's needs. Uh, social media is fantastic. Took me forever to buy in on it, but you know, I mean, now we get we get a lot of people telling us, you know, we like that ball for this reason, or we wish we had this in the line, and, and you know, lo and behold, we're doing it. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, speaking of that, we got to I, I got to throw at the showcase a brand new piece that really caught my attention, and that was the quick fix. Oh, the quick fix. Yeah, you know, we come out with a fix, and uh, it's the only ball in the market that can be truly uh, asymmetrical or truly symmetrical. Uh, most products, if you drill a symmetrical ball, it becomes somewhat asymmetrical. Or if you drill an asymmetrical ball, you really can't make it symmetrical. Uh, this ball, you can. We actually can make it more symmetrical than it was before it started, or really very strong asymmetrical. And uh, what we found with the original fix, uh, we put a strong cover on it. It fit the niche at the time. But it really uh, needed a little more pop down the lane for some people. So what we did was we, we changed the uh, cover stock formula, made it more responsive, and thus the name Quick Fix. Well, I know when I got to throw it at the product showcase, uh, when I had my original fix, I had to go with a motion hole to get a little bit down lane because I have very little tilt. Right. When I threw this thing, I was able to throw the demo layout and get a lot of performance down lane. Which is a very neutral layout. Yeah. And, and that's exactly the feedback we had from some people. They loved it right out of the box. It was perfect bigger tilt players, uh, the lesser tilt bowlers, and which is a lot of majority for, for, for of the bowlers, said, hey, we, you know, we need a little more down the lane. So they had to modify the drillings maybe even more than we wanted. So what did we do? We said, let's uh, put a little more of that flip additive in it. Uh, we're good at that. We're really good at cover stocks and additives. And we put the combination together. Now you may not need a motion hole. Or if you do need one, you may need a collar because your neck will be going like that when the ball makes the move down the lane. I, I don't doubt it. Now, yeah. speaking of things that aren't just good, they are tremendous. Tremendous. We've got this guy right here. Now, for, first, thank you for bringing another black ball. <laughs> There's something about just a plain black ball that is really awesome. Yeah. Somebody said to me, um, you know, your balls need to have more colors to them and more vibrant. And uh, then they said to me, what's your favorite color? Well, here's my new uh, three-color ball. <laughs> it's black, black, and charcoal. <laughs> I personally love um, black bowling balls because, in my opinion, they're easier to read. There's no deception. Um, but then you take that color, black, and you put it around the best core, probably uh, one of the best in the industry ever with a guru, and uh, guess what you have? You have another great bowling ball, which is actually tremendous. Yeah, I know when I got to throw it, I was really surprised. Uh, usually, especially when I, uh, when I figured out what core it was, the gurus are so strong, I usually need a lot of oil. And this ball seemed to be so easy to get through the lane. Yeah. What happened on the, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, on the original guru, it set the bar. Oh, yeah. Hook, highest hook rating ever, which we've gone by, by the way, I think three or four more times. Um, it's a moving bar for us. Other people will get to it eventually. We just keep moving it. But what happened with the guru, as strong as that cover was, it would lane shine a little bit. Um, and it required a little more maintenance. Well, we're cognizant of that. We hear feedback from people saying, you know, this is what we had happen. So we put our heads together. We worked on some new resins. And this ball does not lane shine as quickly. Now, along with that comes more continuation down the lane and maybe a little cleaner through the front. So several people that are real big guru fans have said, we didn't think it was possible to make a better guru. And it's not because it hooks more. It's just how it hooks. And, and it fits a lot of bowler's eyes. That motion down the lane uh, has to fit the bowler's eye. Yeah, it, it was really easy when I was throwing it. I could see as soon as I hit my spot, I could see it kind of flip over, right. 
And when it went through the, the, the pins, I could watch it go through, and I was, I was hitting eight, nine all the time. It was yeah, beautiful. We, uh, we're really proud of that. I mean, this is going to be a real winner for us, and I think it's a ball that'll be around a long time because people are asking for, for the guru again. They want, they want that motion. Um, and the only way to really give somebody a guru is build them a guru. Well, you know what? When you're right, you're right. And I can't think of the last time you were wrong, so... I think um, Bush was president, the first one. Oh, God. I think that's when the last time I think I went to the grocery store and I think I brought the wrong bread. But that might have been it. I think so. I think that's probably the last time. All right, guys. We're going to see what else is going on here in the Brunswick booth. You, but until thank next time, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Bye now. Thanks to God. we we'll see you. guys that about wraps it up for another show if you like what you saw this episode and want to find out more don't forget to follow us on facebook at Lane reviews or click below you can also subscribe to our youtube channel or click on the box or and if you missed our last video or just want to watch it again you can click on the other box and don't forget you can pick up any of the jerseys you see in our videos by using this coupon code at logoinfusion.com so until next time guys we'll see you lane side